Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Kyla and my channel is just a plethora of all things that I love. And today I'm going to be reacting to my Instagram followers wishlist dolls. So I did post over on my Instagram at Kyla Collects AG. Go follow me over there if you have not already. This was a couple weeks ago actually and I asked you guys on my story which doll or in some cases dolls are at the very top of your wish list. And I got an overwhelming response. I do apologize I'm not able to get to everybody's video or excuse me everybody's dolls in this video. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is the fourth video I'm pre-recording today. My throat hurts. I might not have a voice by the end of the day, but this is my only day this week to record, so we're doing what we have to. Anyway, this queen you are looking at is Miss Hayden Juliet Henner, and she is my custom number four. Her unboxing video is on my channel, but you guys didn't get to see her name reveal, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't know that her name is Hayden. So quick shout out to my queen here. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started because some of you guys have some really awesome dolls on your wish list, so let's jump in. This is in complete random order, and I picked a bunch of different dolls, so if you did not make the list, do not feel bad. So this one is Mary Ellen Larkin, and she is at the top of Passion Penguins AG's wish list. I love that username. That's really awesome. If I mispronounce any of these usernames, I am like deeply, deeply sorry. But yeah, Mary Ellen, I own her. She's the only doll I've purchased in stores as an adult. So I'm definitely very attached to Eleanor, my Mary Ellen, for that reason. Definitely, I totally support this and Mary Ellen is amazing. Next up, we have Blair Wilson and she is actually wanted by my friend Allie of Allie Cat Loves AG. And if you guys know, Blair was the doll that got me back into collecting. So Allie, I definitely support this and you need to get Blair because she is an absolute gem and I, I need to see her in your collection. So I'm definitely 100% supporting that. Next up, we have two dolls that are at the top of AG for a lifetime's wish list. And the first one being Marie Grace. I own Marie Grace. I have a custom Marie Grace. I love her. I love her hair. I love her outfit. I love her eye color. She's just spectacular. So I completely agree. And like, I'm totally mixing up my words right now, you guys. I I think this is going to be the last video I make for the day because I'm just not with it anymore. But Marie Grace, 10 out of 10. Love her. And the other doll that AG for a lifetime wanted was Truly Me 64, which I totally 1 million percent agree with this. She is a Jess mold, and you guys know that's my favorite. She's absolutely adorable. I know a lot of people have her, and she's just so stinking cute, so I definitely support this one as well. Next up, we have a doll that is wanted by Mia Ann 6, and that is Truly Me 71. She is very cute. I absolutely adore her. She's not been on my radar, but she's actually adorable, and I'm really, I'm really liking her. So I go for it. She's cute. Here we have Jess Kendrick, who is wanted by my friend Frankie, or aka AGB Way Queen, here on YouTube and Instagram. And I support this. I love Joss Kendrick. I love the Joss face mold. I love her wig. I am a huge fan of the Joss doll overall. My Joss, I obviously changed her name to Marnie. If you guys are familiar with my collection, I love her very, very much. And she will not disappoint. If you do not have this doll and you're like anyone and you're like remotely considering getting her, please do before she retires. I don't know when that will be because AG is really confusing with Girl of the Years right now, but she's definitely fabulous and I absolutely recommend her for um, your collection. Here we have Kit Kittredge and she is wanted by AG Panda 547 and her name is Kenzie over on Instagram and I absolutely support this because Kit was my first AG doll so she's always got that little special place in my heart and I think she'd be a really nice addition to your collection. She's very different from a lot of dolls because of her unique little bob haircut and she's just she's so cute and she just Kit is Kit's honestly really really cute and that's all I can say about her just she's cute I do prefer the historical kit because that's the version I have but unfortunately you can't buy her new in box anymore I mean you can if you find one but you know there are kits that go you know for actually really good prices on eBay and Mercari and stuff so if you guys want to add kit to your collection you shouldn't have too much of a hard time finding one and she's super easy to fix up because she does have short hair so kit Kit's actually really awesome. 
Blueberry AG Dolls wants Truly Me 66, and I've never seen this doll in person, but I've always thought she was really beautiful, so totally go for it. She's not at the top of my wish list, but like if I ever came across a 66 that was in good condition, or you know, I happen to fall in love with her randomly one day, like I have with a couple other dolls, I definitely add her to my collection. I think she's really cool. Dancer Life AG actually had two dolls, but I went ahead and picked the one that I like the most off of her wish list, and that was Caroline Abbott. You guys know, like Marie Grace, Caroline was one of my Grail dolls. I do have her now. I have a fun relationship with my Caroline because she's mean and likes to knock everybody off the shelf. And if you've been here for a while, you know that my Caroline has a reputation for being a bully. But I love Caroline nevertheless. I love all of her outfits. Her appearance is absolutely striking. Her hair, her eyes. She is just a queen and a force to be reckoned with. And if you don't have Caroline, you need to hunt one down and add her to your collection ASAP. Alexis Blaine AG also had a couple dolls on her wish list, and I picked Melody Ellison because this is actually a doll that's on my wish list. I love her. I think she's absolutely adorable. Her little hair flip just gets me every time, and she's got that Sonali mold. I don't know why I wasn't a fan of her in the beginning, like when I discovered she existed. She never really, you know, stood out to me, but as time went on and I've seen other people's melodies, specifically Allie's melody, I just, melodies are really adorable, and I need to add one to my collection. So, um, Alexis, I am right there with you on this one. I did not intentionally do this one last. It's just kind of how the cookie crumbled, but Truly Me 30 is wanted by Lynn Life, aka Koa, and she is one of my amazing, amazing friends as well. And she specifically said Truly Me 38, thanks to me, because if you guys don't know, I have Ginny, my Truly Me 38, and I think I'm responsible for a couple people I've seen on Instagram wanting this doll now, and I'm very, very sorry. Um, I didn't know how much it would affect people, but I love 38, and I know she's hard to find, so I'm very sorry, but if you ever come across one for a decent price, you need to jump on that, because you guys, she's so adorable, and you guys no, I'm not a big fan of dolls with bangs, but some of them just appeal to me, and this is definitely one of those dolls. So I absolutely love 38, and I do recommend her. And we are back to Miss Hayden again, because that about sums it up for the dolls that my Instagram followers have on their wish lists. If you guys liked this video, let me know down below, and I could totally do a part two. So with that being said, if you want me to do a part two, go ahead and comment the dolls that are at the top of your wish list, if that makes sense, so then you can possibly be featured in part two. I thought this was really fun. I mean, I love seeing what kind of dolls other people want. So a couple people on here did say they wanted a create your own or their dream doll just came in the mail and stuff like that. So that was why I didn't, you know, necessarily put them on here, but that's really awesome too. So leave your dolls down below and I will definitely make a part two if you guys are interested. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody. Oh my god.